I don't tell you this nearly enough. I can't seem to express my thanks to you. You spend the most time with me and know me better than I know myself. You are the ones that convince me to follow what I truly feel a passion for, and still support me in this want and constant struggle to make that desire a reality. You still support me, and I believe you will continue to do so as long as this is my passion. Both of you are responsible for the successes and opportunities that have been offered throughout the course of my lifetime. You continue to inspire me and will remain to do so as a constant in my life. You are my heroes. Before you both protest as a reaction to such a glamorized idolization, this is sincerely what you both are to me. I see characteristics in both of you that I admire and wish to see within myself through some point in my life that imply heroism. Hero suggests those that sacrifice so much for the well-being and sake of others, somebody who is selfless, who is generous in spirit, who give back as much as possible in the ever-present need to help people, especially those close to them all the while denying any act of sacrifice was made. I know that you both are shaking your heads denying this truth, claiming this is to be an exaggeration, but this is a true statement that can only express the support and love that should come along with being a parent, which both of you possess. No matter the situation, you have always been to every baseball game, every tennis game, every play, every competition, every band concert, every recital, bringing the camera and cheers every time, acting as if it was new and exciting each and every time. I'm not sure if you remember this short discussion, but I once asked you, Dad, about this seemingly unlikely phenomena, and you said, no matter what, we are always so proud of you all. That doesn't change. Yes, you continue to inspire me with everything you do, be it from the never-ending work that you do, Dad, along with never failing to assist us all when it is needed, including the apparently endless stream of children lurking into your office every night. And mom, you do the same with the meals, care, and attention given at a moment's notice. Just in order to make life easier, even the smallest bit that you can. No matter the differences in our family and the unique individual qualities that all your children obtain, you always motivate me. As for my brother and sister, they both believe in the advancements and creation of technology. They believe in the progression of humanity through this form and are amazed by the possibilities presented through the span of science and engineering. This has been a constant through our large span of our lifetime together. Even as children, there is clear evidence of both my brother and my sister playing with number blocks while I attempted reading a book upside down or entertaining myself with a new installment of Barney and Friends. As evidenced by my film major, I am somewhat detached from this institution of science and engineering. While my siblings were invested in the math league and the science bowl, I spent my time in every form of creative works available spanning from dance, choir, band, theater, and even directing. The crux of this background is that although I am clearly individualized and different from that of my siblings, or what is of main interest to them, we each gain these strengths from the heroes in our lives. You both. Accepting who we are as people rather than the expectation of what you wanted or wished we would become. I have grown with my siblings for the extent of my lifetime, and now understand who they are as individuals in this large universe surrounded by crowds. We have the opportunity to rebuild ourselves at this point in our lives with this new introduction of college. But you both have already built us into the people that we are today, through the inspiring example that you have set for us. You taught us that if we figure out who we are individually and find a passion, that's all that should really matter. What I really want to say is, thank you for everything you have done for us and what you continue to do for us today. I don't really know what will happen next, but all I know is that I will keep walking there, making a path for myself with whatever help you'll give me. Thanks for everything.